Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will write a program to print a series 2 raised to the power n up to 10 terms of the series. Now, now, the series is of the type 2 raised to the power n and we have to print the 10 terms of the series but we will stop as soon as the number exceeds 100. Now, what is the meaning of this? Let's first understand this. Now, 2 raised to the power n, that means the first term, the value of n, because we have to uh, print the 10 terms of the series, so the value of n will vary from 1 to 10. So, the first term of the series will be, when n is 1, 2 raised to the power 1. So, the first term of the series will be 2. Now, then n becomes 2. So, the second term of the series is 2 raised to the power 2, that means 4. Now, the third time when n becomes 3, the third term of the series is 2 raised to the power 3, which is 2 into 2 into 2, that means 8. So, this way we will continue, but we have to print the 10 terms of the series, but at the same time, if the number which we are getting after raising to, uh, after raising it to the power of 2, if the number which you get is greater than 100, in that case we will break out of the loop or we will stop the series, okay. And since it is a series, series we will print it horizontally. So, now let's start the program. So, here we have already written the program. So, if you can see, uh, we take the value of n to be 1, okay, because we have to start from the power of 1. And here I am using while loop and instead of while, for can also be used, okay. So, while n is less than equal to 10. Now, why have we taken it less than equal to 10? Because we have to print the 10 terms, first 10 terms of this series. So, n is 1 while n is less than equal to 10. Now, because we want 2 raised to the power n, that means 2 raised to the power 1, 2 raised to the power 2, 2 raised to the power 3. So, that is why we will make use of this function POW, that means power function, which is part of math class. Now, math class is part of Java. It is provided to us by Java and it is part of java.lang package. So, math class provides us with this power function, which takes the base two arguments, first is the base and second is the power. So, 2 comma n means since the value of n is 1, so that means 2 comma 1 becomes 2 raised to the power 1, so which is 2. But this math dot power function returns a double value. So, that is why we have used this cast operator. This is known as cast operator. So, we are going to cast it or convert the value to integer. So, the value returned here would be 2.0. When we cast it to int, it, it will return the integer part that means 2. So, we, the value of r is 2. Now, because the question says that it should stop when the number exceeds 100, so we have to make this check here that if the value of r is greater than 100, we will break. Break means it will come out of the loop. That means to a statement if there is a statement outside here. That means after the closing curly brace. So, since the initial value of the value which we are getting is 2, which is not greater than 100, so it will print 2. Now, n becomes 2. So, now when n becomes 2, condition is true. So, this becomes 2 comma 2. That means 2 raised to the power 2, which is 4. So, this function will return 4.0. When you cast it to int, it becomes 4. So, 4 gets printed. Then n becomes 3. So, 2 comma 3 means 2 raised to the power 3. So, which is 8.0. Cast it to int, we get 8. And this way it will continue. When the value of r is greater than 100, it will come out of the loop. So, let's save it. And let's compile this program. After compiling, no syntax errors. Now let's run it. Okay. And here, right click, new test. Okay. Right click, void cal. Now you see it's printing, it's a series, but if you see this seems like a uh, one big number, that's because we did not put any space in, in between. So let's uh, create a space between the numbers. So all you have to do is use the concatenation operator plus and within the double quotes press the space bar once and close the double quotes again save it compile it and again we need to close this output window and right click new test ok right click void cal and you see we got our series till 64 because the next number which we get is greater than 100 so it broke out of the loop so this is how we can print a series of 2 raised to the power n and first 10 terms or when the number is greater than 100, we have to break, okay. So, this is how it can be done. So, I hope you like the video and please don't forget to click on the bell icon and do subscribe to the channel e on N. Thanks for watching.